Hey, what's up? Today we'll be looking at the Star Wars Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker figure. This is from the Clone Wars animated series. Uh, they released these as the 50th anniversary for Lucas Films. So let's go ahead and open it and take a closer at the action figure. All right, now we have him out of the box. Uh, when I, got, I tried standing him, he stood up right away. So that's what I love about figures is the fact that if they can stand on their own without the base, without needing help, without 20 minutes of struggling to get him to stand. Like, it literally took me 20 seconds, bam, he's standing. So that is one thing I really love about this figure. He has a good base so he can stand really easily. So first off, let's take a look at his lightsaber. It's actually a really good quality saber. It's not the thin, cheap plastic to where it would have bent really easy. No, it's, it's, it's a good quality plastic. Take a look at his hilt. The really good cut painting. There's no uh, extra plastic on it. I love the flake metallic look that it has on here. There's no extra like spillage of the metallic paint over onto the actual buttons. So everything actually is well painted and well made saber. Alright, so now that we looked at the saber, let's go ahead and get a closer look at the figure. Alright, so this is uh, the wardrobe for the um, Star Wars Clone Wars when he was, um, most of the time when he wore for like his armor and stuff like that when he was in battles. So this isn't based off any other thing besides that, so it's mainly his armor. Um, you got his symbol for the Jedi Order right here. The one thing I didn't like is if you rotate his arm, the pad goes with it. So a lot of times when I would rotate it, it got stuck under his armpit, as you saw right here. So it's really, it's loose and it like goes with the arm. I'd rather it prefer it stay here and the arm moves freely. They should have had this attached to this actual pad here instead. So that way when you rotate his arm, it doesn't go under. See, see right here? Yeah, rotate it back. Um, the figure, other than that, is well made. I mean, it is very well made. It's very sturdy. It does, there's not anywhere that's tight or extremely loose on it. Um, his head can fully rotate, uh, turn side to side. I am not in camera. There we go. Side to side, and then up and down. Uh, he's got. Not only does he have shoulder rotation, but if you look in there, he's got the, uh, right here, articulation, and also he's got it on a ball joint right here in the, uh, under the armpit. So that way it rotates freely without the use of the articulation in the actual shoulder. Uh, so we got rotating forearms and elbow. You got articulation in the elbow. Also you have articulation in the wrist and rotating wrist. He's got some hip rotation, only a little bit though. Um, not much of an ab crunch or up and down right there. Uh, the legs, I believe they're on ball joints. He, no, yes, they are supported each on their own ball joint. But due to his costume, it's a lot harder for him to do the splits. Um, articulation right here in the knees. Yeah. Full left, right, up and down articulation in the ankle. So I mean, you can fully rotate his foot, as you can see here. Which I don't see. There's no really use to rotate his foot like that, but you can if you want. So yeah, this this figure is actually really well made, and it's got a good weight to it. It's pretty heavy. It's not like some figures you pull them out and they weigh like nothing, and they don't stand right. They're awkward feeling. See, look, I mean, look, messing and twisting them all about, and now all of a sudden I stood them within seconds. I love that. Hardly any figures have that to where it stands within seconds. So let's go ahead and add the lightsaber to his hand. That's another big thing in my, I want is the fact that, like, the accessories that it comes with easily go in. Like, if it takes an hour and I'm struggling to get it in or it doesn't get in at all, like, that really bugs me because of the fact, what's the point of even having the accessory if you can't put it in the guy's hand? So it went in, but it's kind of loose in his hand. So that is one thing, but it's able to go in his hand. It went in no problem. 
with the light in his hand, you can't even see the saber, really. If I bring it closer. Yeah, see, the saber almost disappears. So, yeah. He looks great. He feels great. He Everything moves well. He has to hold his lightsaber. He stands right away easily. He's real easy to pose. That's another big thing with me doing, starting to try and do some photography. But, yeah, it's it's a perfect figure, pretty much. And let's go ahead and look at the paint job of it. Uh, you can see certain areas have a little bit of markings, like right here, it has a little bit of a nick of paint. A uh, little bit on his face, you can see a marking right here next to his lip. If I can bring it in closer. Um, there's some extra plastic right here under his chin. The hair actually is pretty good. I don't see any paint issues with the plastic. His outfit is really good. I like the way his outfit looks. The aged leather that they have look right here. The cloth that he has underneath it. Everything about it, it just looks great. There's no issues with any of the paint on his boots. So this is a very well made figure. I would definitely say pick this up. Um, I would usually push my usual place, Entertainment Earth, but I don't believe these are available on Entertainment Earth. I believe these are a Target exclusive. So you can only find these at Target. So you're gonna have, you have to either go on Target.com or to an actual physical Target. But good luck with that. I was literally only able to find him. And I've been looking every day since they came out. You know, when I get off of work, I'll go straight to a Target just as they open. And every day they would always have one Anakin or nothing at all. So they're very, very hard to find. So yeah. All right, so yeah, here is our Anakin Skywalker from the Star Wars Clone Wars cartoon show. So yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.